Index laws, powers of powers. This is law three. The reason I keep saying with numbers is we can also use index laws with algebra. We'll get to that another time. As always with index laws, to work out what the shortcut is, we try expanding it. Here I've got 3 squared to the power of 3. That means 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Let's write that out. 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. If I wanted to, I could expand this even more because each 3 squared is 3 times 3. What's the shortcut? I ended up with 3 to the power 6 and that was 3 lots of 3 squared. 3 lots of 2 gave me that 6 so my shortcut when I'm raising a power to a power shortcut equals multiply the indices. So we don't have to do this whole expanding thing because we can see that there's a shortcut and it's easier. So simplify 3 to the power 4 all raised to the power 2. That's 3 and we multiply the indices. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 cubed raised to the power 4. That's 2 and I multiply the indices. 3 times 4 is 12. We also need to look at the zero index. Something to the power zero. We already know that anything to the power one is just itself. So we've got to work out what three to the power zero is. Now I'm going to tell you it's one. So any non-zero number to the power of zero equals one doesn't work for zero but anything else anything to the power of zero is one now I'll show you why that is but if you don't get it that's okay if I had 3 squared divided by 3 squared I'm just going to make up a new question here we know from the division rule we're dividing products of the same base that I'd subtract the powers I'd get 3 to the power 0 if I did this. 2 minus 2 is 0. But this is 3 squared divided by 3 squared. Anything divided by itself has to equal 1. And so since these two are equal, that means those have to be equal to 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And this works for anything else unless the base number is 0 itself, anything to the power 0 is 1. So, if they asked me to simplify this, leaving index form, 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3, we know we subtract, 3 minus 3 is 0. They said leave it in index form, so we'll leave it as 2 to the power 0. We might almost always also get asked to find the value or to simplify and if we just got told to simplify we'd take this to 1. 6 to the power of 0, 1. 3 to the power of 0 plus 1 to the power of 0. 3 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 1 to the power of 0 is 1. I've got 2. Here I've got 2 times 4 to the power of 0. Remember we do powers before we do times in order operations. So this is 2 times 4 to the power of 0 is 1. I've got 2. Here they're being really tricky. 2 times 4 all raised to the power 0. Well everything in this is to the power 0 so it means the whole thing equals 1. 